I'm really giving y'all the tea. I hope y'all taking notes on this, okay? I hope y'all taking notes because I give y'all the tea. welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Candice Renee in today's video we will be talking about all things content creation this is a part of the brand like a boss series which is based off of my ebook brand like a boss which is in the link down below we'll be talking about how to create content I get so many questions about people who say they do not know how to create content they don't know what to post every day they just be posting just the post to get their three posts of the day out the way which we're gonna talk about and anything with content creation people just be so confused so if you are having problems coming up with content creation and content that converts into sales then just keep on watching this video if you are having trouble with content or creating content the first thing that you need to do is you need to figure out who are you making content for a lot of the times if you are struggling with content creation and you just really cannot figure out like you literally be in the house stressing because you cannot figure out what to post on instagram nine times out of ten you don't know your audience you may know a little bit about your audience but you don't know enough because you need to know enough about your audience to create content so how do you find your audience i have a couple of videos on this um, about how to find your target audience but basically long story short is to find your target audience you need to create that customer persona basically create a customer avatar create a person that will benefit best from your product and you need to dig deep when you are looking for your target audience you need to figure out their behaviors you need to figure out what their problems are um, what do they go through the, what, on a day-to-day -day basis and really just find out what they need from your business and what they desire from your business business um, and what problems that they have in your field that you can solve for them so the first step to creating your content um, and creating good content is to find out who you're creating content for so you may even need to just go back to the drawing board with your audience and figure out who you're creating content for if you know who you're creating content for and you're still stuck as in you just kind of have a creative funk which i get because i do have creative funks every once in a while too um the best way to create content is to really just educate and entertain so educate and entertain the two e's um educate and enter educate and entertain so the way that you can do this is by taking a problem that your audience has so right is think about your content like this think about the problem that your audience has within your business right i always think of it in two different ways think about a problem that your audience has so what issues do your audience have which is why you need to know your audience but what issues do your audience have create content around those issues also create content around your frequently asked questions so what questions does your does your audience ask the most about your business um, break down your services break down the value of your services break down the difference between one service or another or one product or another for example if you sell wigs if you sell frontal wigs and closure wigs one process that you can do is you can break down the difference between a frontal wig and a closure wig which one is the difference or for hair a lot of people have questions of how many bundles do i need um how do i wash the bundles what products do i use for the bundles um what kind of edge control can i use to lay down the baby hairs on my wig you can make content around the questions that people ask that people ask the most so that's how I usually get my content a lot of times is that I just make you know I make content around the questions that people ask in my business or I make questions around the I make content around the question the most frequently asked questions in my business or if I have a new product that I'm releasing content around that product I make content around the value of that product how that product could benefit you in your life and you can do this with either like carousels you can do this with videos you can do this with reels you can do it with any of that. Also, another thing that you can do is if you have Shopify, go on Shopify and look into your analytics and see what products are being viewed the most on your website. If you see the products that are getting the most viewed on your website are the products that's getting added to cart most on your website. And the way you can see this, there's an app. Another way that you can see this, there's an app on Shopify called Cart 
insights so on cart insights a lot of times you a lot of times on shopify people will add something to their cart but if they don't put in their information it's not technically an abandoned cart because they could add something to their cart and they can leave but the only way it'll show up as an abandoned cart is if they add something to their cart put in their information and just don't press pay now that is where that is where the abandoned cart would come from right but some people just add stuff to their cart and then they did don't put in no information or anything what cart um what cart insights they actually show you what people are putting in their cart even if they don't put you can't really see who it is but you can see what people are adding to their cart now it's not a free app but it is definitely worth the money because if you if you see what people are adding to their cart the most in your business then what you can do is you can make content around that so make content around what people are adding to their cart the most because that means that people are more interested in this item right here so if you see that people are really interested for example let me use me for example I see that a lot of people add my all about Instagram ebook to their cart um, and a lot of people may not check out we all have abandoned carts you know it is what it is a lot of people may not check out right so what I'm gonna do is that I see that a lot of my viewers are interested and it also tells you where people come from too so it tells you if people are coming from Instagram or if people are coming from Twitter or people coming from YouTube so I know that if I see a lot of abandoned carts for the all about Instagram ebook on YouTube then hey let me make a YouTube video kind of surrounding the topic of this ebook and telling people the value of buying this ebook or if I see that a lot of people are adding this a lot of people are adding this from um, Twitter I mean the if a lot of people are adding this from Instagram let me go and make content around let me go and make content around this ebook and tell people the value of this ebook because the thing about it is when people are adding some to their cart and they don't put in their information nine times out of ten they're like uh i want to buy this but i don't know if this really me right they don't know so a lot of times people are looking for a sign it might sound really weird but a lot of times people are looking for a sign and if people see something enough then people are gonna be like okay i need this you know what i'm saying so Sometimes people ask them to their card, like, uh, I don't know if I really need it. I don't know if I really want it. And then they'll see you making content about it a few times, a couple of times, and then they'll buy it. Because a lot of times people are looking for a sign or they're looking for just that one thing that's just like, okay, I want to buy it. Or they see it so much, they'll be like, okay, I need it. You know, it's a, it's a psychology thing. But basically... Um, what you want to do is make content around the product that's being added the most in your cart. I'm really giving y'all the tea. I hope y'all taking notes on this, okay? I hope y'all taking notes because I give y'all the tea. Um, another thing about content, a lot of people tell you that you need to post three times a day. You need to be consistent. You need to do this. And let me tell you, consistency is key. But consistency is not going to work if the consistency don't make no damn sense. <laughs> if it don't make no sense. A lot of times people will just post on Instagram just to get the three, oh, I gotta post three or four times a day just to get the three the three times a day out the way. There is no point of being consistent if it's not converting. Like people will post a Pinterest post and the Pinterest post will get a hundred and something likes but nobody clicked on your nobody clicked on the link to your website or you got page views but it didn't convert into anything. You didn't get any sales off of that. There is no point of being consistent if you are not consistently posting with a purpose. Everything that you post, you should be posting with a purpose. You should be posting to educate or entertain in some type of way. Now, posting quotes is entertaining, but don't do it so much. Honestly, I even had to realize that because posting Pinterest quotes isn't really going to get you anywhere because it doesn't mean anything. So don't post a quote every single day. Posting quotes every single day, your page is going to turn into a quote page and people are not going to take you seriously. People are going to be waiting for the next Pinterest quote off your page. And that's not what you're selling. You're not selling Pinterest quotes. You're selling a product. You're selling a service. You're not selling Pinterest quotes. You know what I'm saying? So 
post with a purpose every time that you post on instagram or youtube or twitter or whatever it is that you're advertising on you should be posting with a purpose your content should have something in it that is enticing the person that's looking at it to be like hmm i want to buy it your content should either have people thinking or should be educating people or adding some type of value to people's life a quote is not adding a value to people's life a quote is not doing anything but just giving people a pretty post to repost and if you don't even have your logo on it anywhere then it's, it really doesn't get you anything you know what i'm saying so it's okay to post quotes every now and then but posting a quote every single day that's not relevant to your business or relevant to what you have going on is not key you want to post when it makes sense don't post three times a day if it doesn't make sense there's no po point of posting three times a day if it don't make no sense if it don't make no sense sis what do you you know what i'm saying what are you posting three times a day for so post if it makes sense post if it makes sense post if it makes sense okay that's what it is about content you have to post when it makes sense you have to post with a purpose also with the entertaining post if you're going to entertain your audience you want to when it comes to entertaining your audience you want to post memes and post popular things but have something to do with your web with your business you don't want to just post a meme and it doesn't have anything to do with what you got going on like that's not what that's not what we doing here so for example the the meme that's popular right now is the little stimulus check meme um the stimmy meme where it says account balance 1400 and somebody was like me at dollar tree bring me the tree or somebody was like me at burger king bring me the queen or somebody was like me at five guys bring me the sixth guy <laughs> you know what i'm saying like that is what's popular right now so take that meme and find some way to make it work with your business find Find some way to make that meme work with your business, okay? Um, don't just post it like that. Find a way to make the meme work with your business. Work with what you have going on and work with your business. So, that that's what you want to do. You want to entertain. Another thing that's entertaining right now is reels. Reels are super popular right now. I honestly need to hop on the reels trend. I'm just... I don't know. I don't know what's up with me, but I'm gonna I'm hop on it. I'm gonna hop on it before it dies down. But reels are super popular right now. People are pushing out reels. I mean, I'm sorry. Instagram is pushing out reels like hotcakes. Like I said in my last video, you need to hop on the reels trend. Um, do popular reels that relate to your business. So if you're going to do something that entertains, make sure that it relates back to your business because that's where it goes to the whole content that converts. Content that converts means you're posting with a purpose. A lot of times the reason why your content may not convert is because you're not posting with a purpose. You're not educating, you're not teaching, you're not adding value, you're not tapping into any emotions. You just posting just to post you need to post with a purpose so if you're going to do entertaining or if you're going to repost a meme make sure that meme relates back to your business in some type of way and make sure that real relates back to your business in some type of way don't just do a popular meme and it don't got nothing to do with your business because that's not posting with a purpose your caption your caption is trash okay your caption is trash when you are creating captions you need to create an intro so be before if you guys ever looked on instagram there's like a little section right there where it's like it shows you a little bit of part of the caption and then you click more you want to make that like very you want to make that like the introduction so think of a, a caption like you write in an essay you want to make that you want to make that like the introduction right there you want to make that the introduction and you want to make it super super catchy um you want to make it super super catchy so it can catch people's eye and want them to click more then when they click more you have the middle which is the body which is basically explaining what's going on in the content or the picture and then the ending of your caption 
you want to make that the ending the outro so what do you want your customers to do that is where you put in the call to action and tie it all together and bring it all home what do you want them to do do you want them to book what do you want them to buy a product with your caption it needs to tie back into a ties back into buying something off of your page because that is what content is again saying this again content is supposed to convert it's supposed to make sense so with the caption, you need to make it tie into a product, make it tie into buying a product. Even with your content, it needs to tie into buying a product. So at the end, you have your content, you have your intro to your caption, you have your body to your caption. And then at the outro of the caption, you need to tell your audience to go somewhere and do something and buy something. Don't just post a song lyric. Don't just post an emoji. Don't do any of that. I don't even do that on my regular page, on my personal page. When I post pictures of me on my personal page, I be tying it back into my business somehow, even on my personal page. Even though I take personal pictures of me, I tie it back into my business in some way, shape, or form. So you need to tie it into your business because you need to post content that makes sense. Post content that makes sense. So... I hope that this video helped. Make sure you guys go subscribe to my channel. Comment below if this helped you out. And I will see you guys in my next video.